and welcome back. This is Sarah's Creative Solutions by Backyard Art and I'm Sarah. So today this is part two of the assembly instructions for the hummingbird in flight and I would like you to print off some pictures of hummingbirds for sculptural references. So we have the body, the head and the wings. These are sculpted from part one of the hummingbird instruction video. So what I suggest is if you add all your sculptural detail to the head first before you attach it to the body, it's just easier that way. Uh, it's less fiddly and you can manipulate the head in any direction when it's not attached to the body. Don't forget to support the beak as you do this so that you don't break it off as it's a very fragile part. And uh, I'm using my needle tool here just to sort of like highlight where the beak finishes and the head starts. And also I'm going to be adding the eyes soon. But also it's a good opportunity now to smooth off the joins with the tool. Now I'm going to use this like spoon um, spatula tool that I've got just to scoop out the eye socket a little bit on each side. And then we're going to add the eyeball. Now you don't have to do this of course, you could just highlight the eye area, you don't have to go into great detail. Um, but I decided this is what I'd like to do and I use my eyeball stamping tool that I made, um, which I find is really effective to get even eyes. So I've added the eyes now on either side using my stamp. You can just use a little roll of uh, clay if you wanted to instead. Or like I say, you could just draw on the eyes. You don't have to go this far. And now I'm going to add a little bit more detail. I've been looking at the pictures that I've printed off the internet of what a hummingbird looks like. And then I've decided on a little uh, sort of design that I'm going to go for. But obviously you can do whatever design that you would like. I'm using a very small paintbrush and I've just highlighted any areas that need a bit smoothing out and now rolling out a little bit of clay and I'm adding it as the upper eyelid and lower eyelid. To attach the eyelid I'm going to use a little bit of slip using the paintbrush. It doesn't have to be a lot because it's a very delicate uh, piece, it's not very big. And then just pat it into place. You can use your fingers or a sculpting tool to do this. If you're wondering what best tools to use for this sort of detail, I do find the wooden tools, if you can find them small enough and fine enough, are really good because they tend not to stick to the clay. And now I'm doing the same again but with the lower lid. So 
so at this stage now I've had a look at the pictures that we printed off earlier and I've decided to add on some feather detail under the beak and sweeping motion to the left and to the right and also to the edge of the head I'm adding like a feather um, edge detail so you can see where the neck joins onto the body. So now I'm going to use this damp brush just to blend in any rough bits of clay that are caused by adding the detail and then go back in and uh, add any extra that I need with the needle tool just to give it a sharp edge. There you go, you can see it's looking quite good now. So now we're going to go and start on the tail and make sure that all the feathers are highlighted and I'm happy with how it looks and add on any feather detail that I want to add in that area ready for adding the head. So this is the area where I'm going to add the toes. So I'm just kind of making a belly fold uh, because the bird's leaning forward making a little bridge and then I'm going to add the toes and I'll show you that shortly so just a little bit of scrap of clay and cut out two little triangles and then add three or four claws whichever you prefer you can do it this way or you could add proper feet if you wanted to but I think these little stylized feet are quite neat and is all that's needed for me personally really but it's your choice So once you're happy with the feet, add the slip and attach them to the body. Go in and tidy up with a needle tool as required and then use your damp brush just to smooth everything out. So don't forget to, to um, turn the hole into a keyhole so that you can mount it on the wall. So you've got to decide which position you want the bird to be in on the wall before you put the key in like so. So I've gone for a little bit to one side as you can see. So it'll be at a slight angle on the wall. As you can see there's a hole at the top of the body as well, this allows the airflow into the head so it dries out nice and evenly. So now we're going to look at um, how the head fits onto the body, so you might need to adjust the top of the body slightly by shaving a little bit of extra clay off uh, or the inside of the head, whichever you choose.
So here I'm just scoring or scratching the surface of the clay on the inside of the head and I've also done the top of the body where I'm going to join them on together. And if you want to add any more feather detail onto the head, do this before you apply it to the body because it's easier to handle and less likely to knock the beak off. Also, the best part about this ceramic sculpture template is you can add the wings and the head in any position that you like. So that means the more you make, the more different positions you can put the wings and the head in, which gives it an illusion of a different bird. Now scoring and slipping the edge of the wing and the side of the body. And um, make sure you use extremely thick slip for this bit. And then give it a few minutes to absorb the moisture and then blend with your finger or any tool that you've got. You can support the wing while it sets just for about 10-15 minutes before you attach the other one and that should be then secure enough to um, leave without support. Here I'm just adding a little sausage of clay to the back join and then blending in so that it uh, blends in more seamlessly with the body. Don't forget to support the wing when you do this, otherwise the uh, seal or join will be compromised. And then the same process again on the front, a little sausage of clay, just securing that join and blending in so that the wing joins onto the body seamlessly. So now ready for the next wing and at this point you can twist the wing slightly as well not just have it flat and straight and that will give the wing a little bit more movement and then you could also attach this onto the body in a slightly different angle to the other one. Just going to quickly talk about the template it's a pdf file so it can be downloaded and printed off and depending on what settings you have on your printer and what paper size you have in, it can be printed off on a larger or smaller size. So now I've attached that final wing, you can see I'm using something just to prop it up while it sets. And then I'm just going to go ahead now after it's been sitting for about 10-15 minutes and blend in the excess. So it uh, joins onto the body seamlessly like the other side. Now before you attach the wings, if you did want to add sculptural detail, feather detail on the back and front of the wings, do this before you attach it to the body. So that's the bird assembled. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Now obviously if you would like a copy of this template, the link will be in the video description below. And as you can see here, that's the bird fully dried out, ready for firing, and I've mounted it on the board so you can see what it looks like when it's on the wall. It's really effective. I've made a tropical flower and attached one of these hummingbirds to the flower, which is also wall mountable, so the possibilities are limitless. So if you are planning to build this bird in the future and buy one of my templates, then don't forget to click subscribe as this will put this video instruction in your viewing list for later and then you'll be able to find it when you come to build next time so thanks for watching see you again soon